Hi! So I just wanted to do this video on my new hairstyle, the feed in um, Ghana braids, invisible braids. I don't know, there's a lot of different names on YouTube for the same braids. Basically, they're just cornrows, and I just added in piece by piece the extension hair so you can't, you don't really get that knot right here. I did it in six braids. Um, the parting may not be the best. I am going to turn around, so don't laugh because. I was getting real tired of like holding the mirror, turning around and parting. So I just got tired and I just said, screw it. It is what it is in the back. As long as the front parting looks pretty decent, I'm okay with that. So this is how the back of my hair looks. Um, like I said, some pieces aren't straight. I already know that. I don't know if you guys can see, I'll live closer, but yeah, here you go. I do have a little bit of red. And then the rest are like 1B basically black hair. So I did use two packs of hair. One which was the black hair and two which was the red hair. I used this, the Q Jumbo Braid Premium Soft 1B hair. And this is basically what I use for um, the black, basically the 1B. And I used this, the Ultra jumbo braiding hair and this was basically the hair that i use for the red and both brands are 100 percent connectalon hair now at my beauty supply store this one ran me for about 250 or 249 i think and this one was 199 and i also put some gel on my hair and the gel that i used was this one right here, sorry if you, it's the light is washing it out, but it's a um, 24 hour edge tamer. So I do have a demo of me showing you how I did it. Uh, I do want to apologize for the lighting because I am in my bathroom, so the lighting is going to come off that kind of yellowy orange lighting. Uh, also, I was like recording it by myself, so I was trying to like angle the ca like the camera at a right angle so that you could see. But like I said, so if there's certain pieces where my hands are in the way, I do apologize. I didn't have anybody to help me record it. Hopefully, I will do a voiceover so you guys will hear me saying what I'm doing and you guys will see me doing what I'm doing. So hopefully, those two things combined will you'll get the gist of what I am doing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you have any suggestions that you see I was doing something wrong, like I said, I am not a professional by any means, and I am very open to suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. Yeah, I'll talk to you in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, so this is a demo, and like I said earlier in the video, I do struggle with braiding. So here you're gonna see me just basically struggling for a little bit. I do braid pretty far back, and that's only because I don't want to add the fake hair too close to my edges and start to pull them out because you know they are like finer hair strands. So normally what I do is braid my hair back as far as I want, and once I get all the hair into my right hand, like right here, you see the hairs in my right hand. Now it's in my left. It's probably going to be backwards for you guys. But right here on the hairs on my right hand, I take that loose strand, or nope, I put it back in my left hand. Then I take it in the right hand, sorry guys, take that loose strand and pull it to the front as you guys can see. So I have two strands in my hair and one strand kind of flipping over my forehead. I then take the um, extensions or the extra hair and I kind of lay it right there over the part. And you just kind of want to lay it right there. And then what you're going to do is you see my index finger, I'm going to take the hair and kind of clip it under my index finger. So one part is going to be on my forehead, the other part is going to be back. I take the original strand and I do one braid, so now it's all in my left hand. And then I kind of put it back into my right hand, take that hair and kind of tuck it under my index finger in the right hand. So basically what you're only going to be doing is adding the hair when all the hair is in your right hand. So basically you pull the hair to the front. Take the hair, make sure one strand is facing back, like that, back, and the other is up in your forehead. Clip it under your index finger, or tuck it under your index finger. Take your original strand, braid, so now all the hands in your left, and then put it back into your right, and just swing it around and tuck it under your index finger. So it's kind of like you're only going to be adding hair when all the hair is in your right hand. You want to make sure it's always in the same hand. So you can do right or left, but stay consistent. And always just kind of tuck the hair under that index finger. So it will add it right to the middle section. Take this piece. And so now it's all in the left. And you don't want to do anything with the hairs in the left. And so put it back into the right hand and tuck it under. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to show you guys more like hair, obviously. And then when I do it with the red hair, you'll be able to see it better. But 
Um, I do struggle with braiding, so I normally, like, you know, detangle while I go because I don't want to, like, get my hair too tangly. And sometimes you have to, like, you see I'm struggling right here to get the hair on. But, yeah, and you just want to put it back. And also, um, when you're adding hair, the hair toward the back is going to be a little bit thicker than the hair toward the front. Some people get really thick, and they add a lot of hair toward the back, and that's how you get that kind of going from small to big braid but I just like to get small hair in the front and then stay consistent with the size of hair that I'm adding this is just it from the back um, as you can see I just add the hair in under my index finger and you can't really see but that is the other piece the original piece and I braid put in my left and take the hair back up oh, the tangle take it back put in my right and tuck it under the index finger so I hope this makes sense. Like I said, I'll be showing you throughout the video. If you have any questions, um, you can ask them in the comment section. Also, I know that there are a lot of other videos on this, so you may want to watch a couple. That's what I did just to get the gist of it. So maybe like you'll see somebody else do it and it'll like make sense. That's what kind of happened with me. I watched a couple of videos of people kind of doing it. And then like I kind of watched one girl and she like did it like this and it just made sense to me. But um, it will take a little bit in the beginning, so don't get too, like, distracted if it takes you a while. Like, my first time, it took me, like, five to six times on just one braid before I actually got it. But here I'm just showing you the back. I do touch and feel a lot because I can't really see, and I just want to make sure I'm not pulling hair from any other section. Here, this is just me putting on the gel. Um, like I said, that age age tamer I mean edge tamer sorry I wish it was an age tamer so you know we don't get older but here you're just putting it on um, the part and what I like to do is kind of like push my hair into this mohawk um, one girl did say on YouTube you want your hair to all like kind of be pushed in the right section so it's easier to follow it through if that makes sense so if you push it all in this mohawk it's easier to grab so I just put gel on both sides of the part going far back until I can't see I don't really worry about the back half so here you can see I pull the strand to the front put the hair this is the red hair clip it under as you can see one going back one going front pull my original strand which is the black hair braid braid take it tuck it under and yeah I hope that makes sense um, I'm gonna stop talking now because you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk and I'll let you watch the rest of the video and once again thank you so much for watching this video hope it was somewhat informative and I'll see you guys in the next video bye